Hello everyone, and I'm just gonna show you how you can do the museum heist in the stealth way. So actually to do this heist, what you're gonna need is a suppressor. So put it on your pistol. You will see it on the scope and you should have an advanced lockpick or a normal lockpick. But I recommend the advanced lockpick at level six. So as you can see, I just take my duffel bag with my lockpick and I start to lockpick this door right here. Now you can do this without the a bag but it's um it takes a little bit longer so right here you're gonna just wait for this person to come stand in the corner like me otherwise he will see you and he will shoot you so you have to wait right here you shoot him when he comes beep the thing on the little radio and you're gonna take your bag with your lockpick in it and you're gonna start lockpicking this door we need this door to with the we will get the blue key card and we will need to use it right here so just lockpick it right now and then put it in your bag and we go to the uh, next phase. <clears throat> so you're just gonna wait and then you can just follow this guy. Make sure you don't get spoiled by the camera you see there above. So like in the left side of my screen you see there, there's a camera. Now you don't have to do it like I do, but what you're basically gonna do when the camera is facing away, you're gonna go right here get your lockpick and lockpick the shit out, out of this now you can also just wait and the guy will uh, he will go away and then you will be clear you don't have to go from the back and now depending on if you're fast or if you're slower then the guy will stand on the left or the right and you just uh, use the radio you know how to do it take back the the duffel bag it should be right here and you should have the lockpick in it don't lose the lockpick because uh, in this zone like you can't really see it so you're gonna close the door then we're gonna open that door right here and there will be like this blue key card so just pick 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 okay then you go in make sure you don't lose your lockpick because we will need that and this is the reason why we get the bag because then we can bring our lockpick and the blue key card at the same time now right here you're just gonna have to wait for the right moment i see the cameras facing away I see that the guard is not here, so I make my move, go behind the pillar, just play this safe, just go slow, wait for the guard to move, like you see right here. I see the guard is coming, I'm not gonna do that. Just play a little bit, and almost got caught. But then we go right here, we go to the second pillar, and right here you're gonna drop your duffel bag with your tool, with your, what you call it, lock pick, and then you're gonna take out the blue key card. Because we'll need the lockpick to open the yeah the art exhibition. But right here, to set off the alarm, what we need to do is you see the camera, wait for it. If it faces the other way, then you can go. And now you can go just without any consequences, and you can open it up, open the alarm, and now wait for the camera to go back to that side, and it will go back to your side. So if you try to be quicker than the camera, you're not gonna make it. So you have to wait for it to go back again, like this, and then you can go. <laughs> okay, so you see that guard, that probably will happen to you, we'll just need to wait until it goes to the right side. And when he does that, we can go to our duffel bag. Okay, so you see him moving the camera behind you, it doesn't really matter, it, it doesn't do anything. Now, we're gonna go to this thing in the middle. As you can see, here's the art exhibit, and this is like a tricky one. So you see there's a guard and there's a camera. So when the camera is facing you, you can't lockpick, because you'll be caught. And you also can lockpick when the guard is facing you. So you have to find the right moment, just as I did. And when you lockpick the thing, lockpick it very fast. Uh, wait for the right moment, or you can go in once. But as you can see, like I didn't want to get caught. And right here, very important, run, run very fast. You're gonna close this door and wait behind this carton boxes. Shoot the camera and then we go to the security guard room. Now the reason that you go very fast is because we're not gonna kill the guy in the room where we were. So don't kill him, go fast and make sure that he doesn't see you. So if he's on the right side, you go via the left and vice versa. Now you need to shoot the camera and there is a chance that somebody is watching here, but if you're uh, like this at this uh, fast, if you're at this fastness, you did it in the same time frame as me, then the guy should be all the way in the back. So 
you're gonna wait for him to come to you. Because if you shoot him right now, when he was in the back, the other guy will see the body and he will be caught. That uh, happened to me a little bit of times. So you're gonna go with this thing to the radio. You're gonna peep it. And now don't forget your lockpick. As you can see, I couldn't find it. Okay, here's my lockpick. And then we go into the hard exhibited. Now, I was stupid. I forgot uh, that I dropped my lockpick. So I'm just gonna uh, get it back. As you can see, I just realized, oh shit, where's my lockpick? I am a little bit stupid. I make my move, I go in it, close the door. And I'm gonna take my lockpick because what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get the Mona Lisa at first. We're gonna go to our battle boss, put it in, and then we take the rest to our battle boss. So as you can see, the guy right here is nowhere. We're gonna kill him. Bloop. And this is something of the right moment. So this was a little bit of a gamble. First, make sure to put the body uh, behind the pillar. And now when the camera is facing away, you need to put this thing in the radio right here. This is a very risky thing to do, but you have to do it. So you have to either time it right, you can look at the camera, or you will have to just um, yeah, be lucky. So it's a little bit of both. And as you can see, I just now lock pick every single thing. And most importantly, the Mona Lisa. We're gonna bring this thing back at first. So I actually tried to put it on this little, yeah, what you call it, loading tray or something. But that didn't work, so I'm just gonna bring it back myself. Let's go to the door, go to this door. What you could also do is just throw it right here and then you pick it up when you go with the rest of the loot. But I mean, just bring it in, 45k, that's pretty decent already. And now we're gonna just take the rest in order to get all the money. So kaboom, lockpick, and now you have to place everything. Now you have to make sure that nothing sticks out, because if it sticks out, you won't get through the door. <laughs> yeah, that's really annoying, like this card, it's, it's not a fun card. But as you can see, we go to the next room, make sure everything is okay. Lockpick, everything right here. And then we're gonna go to our bus and just bring it all in. Yeah, this cat is really a motherfucker. They always uh, move to the side. So, yeah, I had to fix this up because you can go to this door. With this door, you have to put it so that everything is not sticking out. So I just did that, it took me <laughs> maybe like a minute. But no, yeah, you made it. So just go back, it's a little bit sped up for you guys. And then your total take should be around 100K and bringing a very good bit of XP. So that's pretty cool. Now you will see, go in the bus, 112.71k and it took exactly 11 and a half minutes. So as you can see, almost level 9, that's pretty good. 